Paradise Valley was made in two months. And I've never had an experience of making a record that quickly. I've, I've always really poured over things and poured over them and poured over them and poured over them. Uh, Paradise Valley for me was about, um, was a real expression. It, it may have been slightly unnecessary on a musical level because everybody would have said, hey, you just put a record out last year and he couldn't sing. But for me, it was an expression of sort of devotion to wanting to be a singer in my own time. And what I mean by that is like singing this year's record this year. So for me, it was about writing a record that I could perform so that I was being current with myself and with the audience instead of, hey, here's some stuff I wrote in 2010, didn't get a chance to sing till now. I think as, as, as an expression of sort of devotion to wanting to be a writer, because writers just have to write. There's no way that you can be a writer in the past tense. You're no longer a writer. You were a writer. And so I didn't want to hit the road having been a writer. I thought to myself, I'll, I'll, I'll put up a record of songs that I'm, I haven't vetted yet, that I believe in in the moment, that I haven't vetted yet, for the overall experience and benefit of having still been a writer this year. And again, if you go to the Dylan thing, that's how that stuff happened too. Knocking on Heaven's Door was as arbitrary a tune in the inception of it as you know, any other tune that he wrote that we don't have on the iPod all the time. You know? So it was really, for me, about be a writer. Don't worry about your track record. Just this year, be a writer. And, and I think you can hear that kind of. You can hear that kind of devotion to it. Yeah, thank you.